Hi, my name is Lexi Orlean and I'm a 200 hour registered yoga teacher. Today I'll be taking you through a short mixed level sequence, so let's get started. Begin to grow tall through the spine here, tuck the chin, belly button in towards the spine, and begin to close down your eyes. Placing your palms on your thighs or knees with intention, palms facing up for receiving or down for grounding. From here, begin to notice the breath. As you inhale and exhale through the nose, notice where your breath goes. Just observe. Don't change anything. No judgment. Continue to inhale and exhale through the nose. And just notice how you feel in this moment. One more breath here. And on your next breath, begin to blink open the eyes. From here, reach your arms up to frame your face. Really spread those fingers wide, energy coming out of those fingertips. Bring your belly button to spine, inhale, and exhale, begin to twist your torso over to the right, placing your left hand in front of you, right hand behind you to act as a kickstand. Really use that right hand to lengthen the spine. So as you inhale to lengthen, exhale, twist a little bit deeper, maybe taking your gaze over that back right shoulder. One more breath here to inhale to lengthen and exhale, twist a little bit deeper. On your next inhale, reach the arms up to frame your face, come back to center. And on your exhale, twist over to the left, placing your left hand behind you, right hand in front of you. Inhale here to lengthen and exhale to twist. One more inhale to lengthen, grow tall through that spine and exhale, gaze over that back left shoulder. On your next inhale, reach your arms up to frame your face, coming back to center. From here, place your right hand next to your right hip. Grow tall through that left side body and side bend over to the right. Use that right hand to push the mat away, grounding both sit bones onto the mat. From here, option to gaze up at that flying hand. Breathe, feeling the side body stretch here on the left side. On your next inhale, come back to center, lifting that right arm to meet the left. Place your left hand down next to your left hip. Grow tall through that right side body. And exhale, begin to side bend over to the left. Keeping the core engaged here, belly button to spine and ribs tuck down. Breathe in through those right intercostal muscles, the muscles of the rib cage. Again, option to gaze up towards that flying hand. Inhale, come back to center, lifting both hands up and create a stop sign with your hands. From here, create tight fists and then open. Tight fists, open, tight fists open and we'll close and open as fast as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. From here we'll work on to our tabletop position and in your tabletop position you want to make sure your knees are directly under your hips and wrists are directly under your shoulders. Make sure not to sink your belly here. Instead, bring your belly button to spine, engage through the core. Gaze in between your legs. If you can see your feet through your legs, gently move your feet 
feet behind your knees. And then bring your attention to your hands, spread through your fingers and ground down to in the space between your pointer finger and your thumb. Next, your gaze is down slightly forward, keeping a long neck, long spine here. From here, begin to drop the belly, bring your shoulder blades to your spine, lift your tailbone and your gaze for your cow pose. Exhale, begin to round the spine, push the floor away for your cat pose. Inhale, drop the belly, look up for your cow. Exhale, begin to round the spine, gaze back for your cat. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round the spine, gaze back. One more time, inhale, drop the belly, gaze up for your cow. And exhale, push the floor away, round the spine, gaze back for your cat. Inhale, back to your neutral tabletop. And from here, begin to tuck the toes. Walk your hands out about a hand's width distance. Push into your hands, keeping your knees bent, pushing into your downward facing dog. Know that your knees can stay as bent as you'd like, as long as your spine is straight. From here, begin to walk out your dog. Bending into one knee and straightening the other. Taking whatever movements you need to feel good in your body. This is your practice. I'm only here to guide you. From here, find some stillness with the legs and bring your attention to your hands. Again, grounding down in the space between the pointer finger and the thumb. From here, notice your tricep. Wrap the tricep in towards your face and push the floor away. On your next inhale, gaze in between the hands, bend your knees as much as you need to. Begin to walk your feet towards your hands. Inhale here, half lift, knees bent as much as you need. Bring your hands to your shins, knees, or thighs. Spine is long, shoulder blades on the back. Belly button in towards the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Coming to stand, hands meet at the top. Exhale, hands through heart center. Tadasana. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Palms are open towards the front of your mat. Breathe here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back, then your left foot coming into plank pose. Keeping your shoulders and your hips in the same line. Belly button in towards the spine. Inhale, here, rock forward of the hands. Begin to bend the elbows in towards the body. Lower down, chaturanga. Lower your body all the way down. Inhale for your cobra pose. Again, hug those elbows in towards the body. Exhale, nose to mat. From here, tuck the toes. And using your hands and your knees, begin to push up through tabletop, coming back to your downward facing dog. Holding here. Inhale, gaze in between the hands. Begin to walk your feet towards your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Arms, hands come to touch. Exhale, hands through heart center. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. This time, step the left foot back, then the right. And from here, we'll just push into downward facing dog. 
Inhale, lift the right foot up back behind you, toes pointing down, hips are square. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. This time, place your right foot in between the hands. Lower your back, left knee down. Untuck the toes. Coming into your low lunge leg. Notice here that the knee is stuffed right over the ankle or slightly behind, but never past the ankle. From here, bring your hands to your front thigh and then lift your arms to frame your face. Anjaneyasana, low lunge. From here, interlace your fingers behind your head. Gently lean back and exhale. Bring your right elbow down to the right, taking a side bend. Inhale back to center. From here, plant your hands to frame your front foot. Begin to press through that front foot, straightening the leg and bending into the back leg. Coming up onto your heel so your foot is flexed, toes are pointed towards your body. Keep your hands low, spine nice and long. Really begin to press the front heel down into the mat. Work that right hip back, left hip forward. From here, begin to engage through the quad to release the hamstring muscle. An option here to wiggle your hips side to side to get into all three hamstring muscles. One more breath here. And as you're ready, begin to walk your hands back towards your low lunge leg. From here, tuck the back toes and move that knee in about five inches. From here, ground down through that left hand. Bring your left toes out to the left, toes are tucked. And then move your right foot towards the back of the mat, inner um, edge of the foot at the back of the mat. From here, lift your right arm up, shoulders stack. Option to keep the left toes tucked or untuck them, whatever feels more comfortable in your body. Keep that right foot flexed and lift the right foot to hip height. Breathe here. Exhale, tap the foot down. Inhale up, tap it down. Inhale up. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Hold. Release your right hand down, right foot down. Bring your left foot back to center. Right comes to meet it. And push back, downward facing dog. Inhale the left foot up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. And bring the left foot in between the hands. Lower down into your right knee. Release the right toes. Again, finding your low lunge legs. Again, noticing the knee here. Making sure the ankle is directly under the knee. From here, bringing your hands first to your front thigh, and then arms to come to frame your face. Take a gentle tuck of the ribs down and belly button to spine, knowing that it's not going, your spine's not going to fully straighten because you are in a back bend with the right leg extended behind you. From here, interlace the fingers behind your head and bring your left elbow towards the left side. Noticing how this can change the sensations you're feeling in your body. Inhale, come back to center and release your palms down to frame your face. Again, push your front leg straight. 
keeping your back long, coming up to your fingertips, or um, you can even use blocks underneath the hands. Press your front heel into the mat and isometrically or energetically drag the heel towards your body, beginning to feel the leg engage and stretch at the same time. Again, option here to wiggle your hips side to side. And from here, begin to walk your hands back to low lunge. This time, tuck the right toes, bring the right knee in a few inches. Bring the right toes out, ground down through that right hand and left inner edge of the foot comes towards the back of the mat. Lift the left hand here. Notice my shoulders and how I'm not sinking into the right shoulder. Instead, I'm pushing it away here. Belly button in towards the spine. Spine is nice and long. Inhale, lift the left foot up and hold. From here, drop the left foot down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale, give me five, four, three, two, and one, hold. Bring the left foot down, left hand down, right knee to center, left knee to center, tuck the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze in between the hands, rock your body forward, come to plank. Inhale, exhale, rock forward, drop the elbows. Inhale for up dog or cobra. Exhale back, roll over those toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right foot up and back. Exhale, right foot in between your hands. From here, turn the left foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Notice your heel, your front heel is in line with the back inner arch of the back foot. From here, press into the hand, rise up, left arm comes behind your right arm comes forward for your warrior two. I'm going to switch sides here so you can see me. Again, bring your attention towards that front knee. Make sure the knee is tracking oh, um, slight, directly over or slightly behind the front ankle. Arms are long. Gently lean back so your hips and shoulders are stacked. Gaze is over the front middle finger. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. And exhale, begin to lean forward, placing your front forearm on your front thigh. From here, bring that left arm directly out in, your, in front of your face, palm faces down and arms parallel with the floor. And then swing that right, excuse me, left arm up and begin to feel your extended side angle. Feeling the stretch from your fingertips to your toe tips of the left side. Push into that bottom arm Spine is long. Breathe. From here, inhale back up, warrior two. Begin to straighten through that front leg, hips towards the back of the room. Reach, reach, reach towards that front leg, finding your triangle pose. Knowing you could bring your hand to the inner leg, hand to thigh, shin, block or mat. Just making sure your spine is nice and long. You don't have any C curves in the torso. Instead, both sides of the torso are straight. Option here to gaze forward, down, or up at the flying hand. One more breath here. Bring your hands to frame that front foot bend into the front foot and turn those back toes onto the toe mound. 
from here, step that right foot back to plank, rock forward, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing here. And again, I'm gonna switch to the left side so you can see me. Inhale that left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot in between the hands. Rotate that right foot parallel to the back of the mat. And again, heel, front heel in line with back inner arch. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. This time, bring your attention to your front knee and notice if the knee is tracking over the second to third toe. That's where we want it. So you wanna bring your knee back behind you. You don't wanna bring your knee forward. Again, lengthen the arms here. Gaze over that front middle finger. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse. <clears throat> and as you exhale, land in your extended side angle. Front forearm comes to front thigh. Top arm over your ear. Palm facing down. Again, don't lose that bend in that front knee. Can you bend a little bit deeper? Push into that bottom arm. Feel the stretch along the right side body. On your next inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Feet to straighten through that left leg. Reach, reach, reach with that left arm. Right hips get sent back towards the back of the room and then place your hand wherever it falls, finding your triangle position. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Placing your hand down. Again, nice long spine, belly button towards the spine, and gently lean back here. Gaze can be at the floor, straight ahead or up at the flying hand. One more breath here. Take a slight bend in that front leg. Bring the right hand down and left hand to the left of the foot, framing the foot. Come to the toe mounds of the back, right foot around your hands down. Step the left leg back. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale back. Downward facing dog. From here, drop the knees. Knees wide, toes come to touch. Bring the seat to the heels. Reach the arm, that long forehead to the mat. Child's pose. Breathing here. One more breath. Begin to push into the hands, tuck the toes, step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot up and back, and exhale, place the right foot in between your hands. This time, stay up on the back toes. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Again, same roll with the front knee. And begin to work that back leg back. Holding here. Breathing. Notice your ribs. You want your ribs to reach down. You don't want them to flare out. And notice when I reach my ribs down, my arm comes more forward. That's okay. We're more concerned about the spine here. One more breath here. And using as many steps or hops as you need, lift that left foot out in front of you, coming into stork pose. I'll come to face you in the front. So your foot is flexed, your left knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. From here, bring your hands to heart center. We'll be coming into tree pose. So if you'd like something to balance with, please find a wall or a sturdy chair. From here, you can bring your left toes to your ankle, 
your left foot towards your calf, or you can reach down for your left foot and bring it into your inner thigh, making sure you avoid the knee here. Breathe. Option here to keep your hands at heart center or begin to grow your branches on to frame the face. One more breath here. Push leg into foot, foot into leg. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Reach that le uh, left foot towards the front and then release, shake it out. Come towards the front of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands on the mat. Sit back, plank pose. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg back behind you. Exhale, place the left foot in between your hands. Stay on the tall mounds of that right foot. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Breathe here. Again, noticing your alignment, noticing the rib cage, the front knee. Really energetically spread the fingers, energy shooting out of your fingertips. One more breath here. Press ground down through that left foot. Stay on that right foot up. Come into stork pose. Foot is flexed. Again, I'll come to face you here. From here again, bringing your right foot to the left ankle right foot to calf, or right foot to inner thigh. Pausing wherever you need to, notice how you feel, and know that any variation is the perfect variation. Again, pressing that foot into thigh, thigh into foot. You feel the ankle wiggling. An option to reach your arms up, grow your branches tall for your tree pose. One more breath here. Bring your hands back to heart center. Right knee points towards the front of the room. Release the foot down. Shake it out, shake it out. From here, come back to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands on the mat. Step back to plank pose, and this time push into downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze in between your hands. Walk your feet forward towards your hands, and then begin to sink your seat. Coming down onto the mat, and reaching your legs long out in front of you. Feet are flexed here. If you feel any rounding in the low spine, place it up on a blanket or a block. Otherwise, pelvis is tilting forward, spine is long, ribs are tucked down, neck is nice and long, gaze is straight in front of you. Inhale here to neutralize. From here, bring that right foot towards the mat. So right foot towards the mat, knee is bent towards the ceiling. And then bring that right foot over the left leg. Inhale, bring both hands to that right shin. Pull your chest through. Then wrap your left arm around the right knee. Bring your right hand back behind you. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, twist gaze over that right shoulder. Taking a gentle twist here to neutralize the spine. Inhale, come back to center. Release the right foot down and begin to bend the left leg. Foot on the mat, left foot come over the right. Hug the leg with the right arm and bring the left hand back behind you. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist. 
Don't forget to flex that right foot. One more breath and inhale, come back to center. From here, bring both, bend both knees. I'll come to face you here. And then bring your feet to touch knees wide, coming to cobbler's pose. Also come, you may notice butterfly pose. Bring your hands to your ankles, pull your chest through. Spine is nice and long here. If this is enough of a stretch, stay here or option to begin to fold forward, keeping a long spine. Notice how I'm not curving or rounding the spine here. You really want to keep your spine nice and long. One more breath here. And inhale, come back to center. From here, widen your feet out as wide as the mat. Bring your hands back behind you and just begin to rock your knees side to side. From here, bring your knees back to center. Bring your seat towards the, the middle of your mat and make sure there's nothing behind you. Inhale, bring your hands to the back of your thighs, grow tall through the spine, and begin to lift your feet up. So your knees are bent at a 90 degree angle, spine is nice and long, and you're using that resistance of your hands behind your thighs to keep you up. We'll hold here for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lower down onto our backs. From here, begin to bend the knees and create um, and leave your triceps on the floor, but lift your forearms and palms up. Your palms are facing one another. From here, gently roll the shoulders onto the back, lifting the shoulders, lifting the chest, and then releasing it back down. Make sure your heels are directly under your knees. Feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale here, keep your neck nice and long, do not move it. Inhale, push into the heels and triceps, lifting the hips, coming into bridge pose. Really engage the glutes here. And exhale, release the spine down. Option to keep your arms just as they are or place your hands down on the mat, really engaging through the arms this time. Inhale, lift the hips up. Again, shoulders pressing down into the mat. Neck is nice and neutral, not moving the head here. Can you lift your hips a little bit higher? And exhale down one vertebrae at a time. Bring your knees to knock in, feet wide so your legs are tensed. Right hand to belly, left hand to heart. Noticing how you're feeling here. From here, bring your feet back neutral. So remove your hands from your belly and your heart. Bring your right ankle over the left knee. Flex the right foot. From here, lift the left foot, flexing the left foot, and bring your hands to interlace behind the left thigh. From here, use that right arm to press that right thigh away and feel the stretch of your hips. Again, keep both feet flexed. One more breath here. And release the left foot down, release the right foot, and we'll switch sides. So flex that left foot over the right knee, interlace the fingers behind the right thigh, flex the right foot as you lift it. Use that left elbow to press into that left thigh, pressing it away from the body, feeling the stretch here. And then release that right foot down. Release the left foot down. Begin to straighten your legs. 
Feet come as wide as the mat. Feet splay out to the sides. Gently inhale, lift the chest. Shoulder blades come to the spine and then release the chest back down. Palms come out to the side. Palms face up. Arms take up as much space as you'd like. Holding no energy here. Releasing all muscle tension. Begin to close down the eyes. Shavasana. I'll call you back in a few moments. Begin to inhale deeply through the nose and exhale, part the lips, side out the mouth. Inhale through the nose, part the lips, side out. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. Reach the arms up overhead. Stretch those feet all the way towards the front of the room. And exhale, roll to your right thigh. Breathe here. On your next inhale, press up into a seated position facing the front of the room. Closing down the eyes once you arrive. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms to touch. Exhale, hands through heart center. Namaste, yogis.